Hello. Okay, so it's episode 26 today. I'm gonna probably ask you a question. Yeah, why not? Uh, and at the end, there will be the Hornet giveaway Ooh. announcement. First, Curry, you've been here for six months. Yeah. What are your three favorite products that you sold in the past? Six months. You know what they're gonna be. The RC tanks from Hang Long. They are super awesome. I've got like the Walker Bulldog one, um, but we got the Tiger One tank, the Panther tank, and the Sherman, and more models to come in uh, January. They're selling really cool. First product tanks. Second mm -hmm. product. Definitely, it's gonna be the BD10. Okay. That, product for the future. That's very exciting. Mm. And the third product. And the third product. I think is that tank that you put aside for you want to build. That must be your favorite. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, King Tiger tank. Yep. Yeah. Gonna have a crack at building a model. It's been years and years and years since the last one, so hmm. gonna give that a crack. Good. Yeah. Excellent. Well, let's see who is next. Uh, Nathan, we already Hi. asked you the question, but you took about 45 minutes to respond because you had many ideas. Yes. Today, you're gonna tell us your three favorite products in 30 seconds. Starting at number one. Oh, yes. Here we go. The U9 Grand Prix car by U Gears. There's the built one. Fantastic, winds up, it goes. Lots of moving parts, the pistons and valves move in the engine block as it goes. Number one, T90, a smaller scale tank, and it's got the laser tag system with the turret sort of pillbox thing. And uh, yeah, you can play laser tag with your other tank buddies. And uh, oh, well, look, you can't go past <laughs> PS4. That's, uh, that's my top three. We put on the television face. Hi there. So yeah. today we are actually going to tell our audience what yeah. are the three favorite products for 2019. <laughs> Look, I quite like the Tamiya scribing tools. Um, scribing is really popular these days. Yeah, yep. very nice. They're, they're not the cheapest thing, but they work really well. I use the one I've got at home almost every day. I really enjoy the new spotter, i got to say. The, the new spotter? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's fun. Um, I'm busy adding it to my own little robot thing. Really, and just an unusual, interesting kit. So that's probably... Well, the mech stuff's always interesting, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, totally. Actually, I quite like the mini train stuff. I, I've started thinking about a layout. And Ooh. I've got the stuff at home, but I haven't actually started yet. Mini yeah. train? Sounds yeah. good. All right. Number two, um, just a weird one, just because I can. Sanding sponges. It just makes cleanup so much easier and efficient. Um, so, yeah, there's the guide ones and there's the um, Vallejo ones yep. as well. That's speeded up my, um, my building quite considerably. So there, I wasn't, wasn't expecting. It's a simple, simple idea that you think, oh yeah, it's yeah. a bit of gimmick, but you start using them and totally actually yeah. handy. Yeah, I wasn't yep. expecting that. Wasn't yep. expecting that. To finish, number three. three. Number Look, I'm currently in love with my um, Renault FT17 from Tacoma. Oh, that's coming along, isn't it? One of their first kits. Yeah. 116 scale, really big. Yeah. Lots of detail, lots of also opportunities, add little bits and pieces to it as well. Um, I'm having great fun with that. I highly recommend it. But I started uh, SU-122 oh, yeah. months ago. So with all the bits coming off, the yeah. engine and stuff. Did I mean, that's that? got so many bits. Got to do a lot of clean up, but I think that's pretty good. So I think Mini Art is actually yeah. is pretty good. So I think all the really? other Mini Art stuff's pretty good too. Yeah. So Warwick, I yes. think you forgot your favorite product for this year. Like What's the your show? Oh, Ultima. no, don't do that to You me. watch about don't 800 YouTube me. videos on that. I did, I did. Oh. So in a child of the 80s, anything that's 80s, especially if that's where my RC knowledge ends, is about 1984. So I'm still stuck there with my childhood youth experience. So it's pretty iconic, that car. The ultimate, uh, the lines yeah, on it, though, are so nice. Like all the other cars, you know, look a little bit funny, but that one's held its age really well. It has. Yeah. All right, guys, well, thank three. you for no this. No worries, no worries. See you next time. Ah, perfect. Hi. So this is Carl. So we're asking mm. you mm -hmm. your three favorite products for 2019. Three favorite. One of them would probably have to be Hornby packets. They were pretty cool. And the BBR F40. Oh yes. That's You've been looking be at that for the past six months. Yeah. Um, number three, probably the Traxxas Max. The Traxxas Max is your favorite. It's cool. Good. It's cool. Finally now see car in this top three. Good. I had to get one in there somewhere. Indeed. All right. Thank cool. you. Top three. Before we finish this 
episode number 26 yes. we're going to announce the winner of the hornet giveaway oh that's right we're running the hornet giveaway so last night we recorded a, a quick clip that yes. we're going to show now yep uh, so next week will be the probably the last episode for 2019 and i think we're going to show you a bit of the behind the scene of what happened when we do our videos so stay tuned uh and we'll see you next week yeah next week it is so congratulations to the winner and that's a wrap thank you for watching bye 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 hi i'm bj from hearns hobbies and we're going to be drawing the winner of the hornet package that's going to include everything so we've got a built version here so it's a classic hornet hasn't changed in years and it's going to come with the kit the special rare t-shirt the steering survey the charger and the battery and the radio control unit so over the time we've been running this competition we've had 279 entries and i've got everyone's name in this little box here so you can see here we've got everyone printed out so there's 279 names in here and i'm just going to give it a bit of a bit of a mix up to make it a bit fair for everyone i'll just mix it up a bit like this i'll close it a good shake. All right, so let's check all this, check all this, check all that. This. Okay, so let's pick the winner. So I'll go towards the bottom here somewhere. That one. I've got one here, and the winner is Brian Francis. So congratulations, Brian. So we'll be posting this soon, and we'll get in touch with you and get it off to you. So thank you for everyone for entering, and. Um, Look forward to the next uh, competition we have. Little did I dream.